So, we got our oil out here, too, right? <clears throat> we sure do. We had a bill last night of 2.8, I think they said, Yeah, right? I think you were right. The API was about 2.8. We looked at uh, the EIA, much more even muted. I think a build of only like 340,000 barrels. Um, let me pull up crude oil. So there's our crude chart. We're trading right now at 6160. Looking at that June contract. Jumping in. So we'll start with the 11 AMs. Let's see how these line up. So again, 6160. We're going to have an option of 6175. And it's kind of nice to, it's not this bad. is exactly what we do with the earnings, as in the one-day market move, right? right? We figure out basically how much they're going to charge us to hold this. Um, not bad. You have a, <coughs> excuse me, swallowed, um, 15 cent head start to the downside, right? You're going to have value. So your bullish one, it's about 15 cents out of the money. You start getting value at 61.75. So that's just going to be all premium, 10 bucks. And the bearish one is where you're going to have 15 cents of intrinsic value. Then you're going to pay some premium on top of that. So you're looking at 36 bucks. Okay. It represents 36 pennies under 61 or in either direction from right. 61.75. A little bit bearish though, head start. Let's see where, <laughs> close these real quick. So that was the 11s. And that was, what was that again, 30? 36. 36, okay. And, um, okay, so this is kind of cool we can figure out. Now the noons line up at 61.50. So this is a great example where you get used to it, right? You say, ah, you know what, that trade's okay, but I was a little bit bullish, really. Yes. Well, these give you the option to now have that intrinsic value on the bullish side. Your bullish trade becomes the one that you're paying 26 for. Your bearish one is going to become the one that you're paying. There we go. Um, a little bit more. 42. So okay. 42. You yep. have the extra hour, right? But again, kind of cool that now you have 8 to 10 pennies on the bullish side. Right. And let's see where some of these dailies line up. So you get the first one. Okay, that's 61.50. I'm just gonna jump to these dailies at the same time. And that's gonna line up only just at 61. But this is good, this will give us, so same exact price point as the noon. There's your bullish. It's now gonna be $34. You get 10 cents of that in intrinsic value. And the We're bearish. Two hours. Two and a half, yeah. Two and a half hours, yeah. yeah. <coughs> Fifty-six dollars. Okay. Um, and of that, you have a fifteen-cent head start to the bullish side. Okay. Right? So let's, let me take a look at the. Uh, so CLM, I think we're on. Yes. June contract. Yeah. So it hit sixty-one oh seven this morning. Oh, this is interesting too because. What we had is that on Monday, you did come down with volume. Oh, yeah, a little pressure yesterday with volume, too. Interesting. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, because oil's been moving a lot with the market. I mean, it has. as you see those two, it I has. mean, it's basically that could be an S&P um, chart with the it, gap down. I know. The huge move Monday, the gap down yeah. again. Yeah, well, I'm going to go for a lower price. Okay. You, know, you got that you get that low yesterday at 10, 10 o'clock in the morning. You can see that that's that's sticking out like a sore thumb. You know, right there. What is that? That's sixty, sixty-six. Yeah, remember it was sixty dollars and oh, yeah, six, yeah. six, six totally, um, totally. was the low. Right. So we'll see where this baby goes. Um, yeah. You know, and there's no doubt we, we brought this up before that the the oil contract in general, you know, back almost the last year and a half, where oil goes or where the S and P goes, they they've been following each other. Definitely. You know. Let's see if they got any analysis in here as they start there. Good, they got some what to watch for us. I like these as we get ready. So, um, outflows and inflows. Last week, parts of the U.S. South again met with a bunch of bad weather, ranging from heavy rains to tornadoes. Um, while there was little reported in terms of waterway closures, the weather might have slowed down marine traffic, sapping both imports and exports of crude and products. Isn't that wild how the economy works? Are it is. That, the weather of yeah, these, the, right. how it plays in, right? We've seen refinery problems in terms of their... Um, a lot of real fundamental nature yeah. aspects of you what's know. going on. And here we go. Refineries. Utilization is at the lowest level for this time of year since 2016. Well, it's only 2019. That's not. It should improve as plants come back from maintenance during the course of the month. Crude bulls are looking for a pickup in refiner demand to eat into the highest stockpile since 2017. Crude oil... Crude inventory figures have recently started to get a bit wonky. Refinery utilization is flattish though expected to ramp up as they come back online. The main oil products have seen draws. Crude imports remain near multi-month lows, even if they've risen the last couple of weeks. You know, we're 
two weeks away from the beginning of the driving season. Yeah. Three weeks. Yeah. I mean, May 30th, that's Memorial Day is the number. So. Yep. Uh, yep. But the other interesting numbers, though, because oil's still high compared to they're saying that the most amount of oil that we have in storage since yes, 2016. I agree. I agree. You know. And we've seen it, right? We've seen these numbers have huge builds. Right. And the market trade higher. <laughs> I mean, that's just, so that's no, totally. why, they, you know, totally. how do we get totally. huge surpluses and higher prices? Yeah. Well, we've seen it do it. We'll see if we'll do it again. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials down 18. NASDAQ is flat. S&P's off 7.5. Coming right back. Welcome back, folks. Uh, gas inventories, uh, uh, crude inventories fell 3.9 million barrels. Big number. New territory. I don't New think we've had a, no. a fall like that in yeah. a while. And to see where we're trading at, a little spike, as you would expect, right? We'll get into the real numbers, but it yeah. was pretty close to either being flat or a, or a slight build. Uh, API showed a build, right? 2.8 million. Um, so higher prices, less oil, higher prices, 61.86. Um, quite a little spike. We're just trading, coming into that number, 61. Like 56, 6157. Because I even during the break, I pulled up um, the 6150, right? I said, right. oh, we're right next to it. It would have cost us about $40 to put on both sides until noon. Um, and right now, you're almost trading them $40 up in terms of the bullish contract on that, on that move. This is going to be deviant out here today. Ah, uh, look at that. They even have, um, so the whisper number was slight build, but the median analyst estimate was looking for almost 2 million barrels to the upside. Gas down 596,000. Estimate was a decrease of a million. Let's see, refinery utilization down versus an estimate being up half a. So that's pretty amazing because you'd think that, like, I was going to say that, okay, so maybe the refineries are, you know, taking the oil now, but that's sure. saying that no, that's not the case, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, right. The, the no, discrepancy's the, not there, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and maybe, maybe it's so many moving parts, it's awesome. Crude production. Well, you're not even producing it in the beginning, right? Maybe right. that was down ahead of. Right. So, because um, you have refinery crude inputs down, crude production down. Crude um, inputs down, too. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Not helping the market, though. Uh, no, a little bit of a pop, but we'll see where we go. No, but, I didn't mean the broad market. Uh, oh, okay, you yeah. Know, you still got the S&Ps down 10. Yeah, this is going to see. This is, you know, it's so wild. So, we've been talking about, like, the last couple times that you've had the... Uh, a huge build and yeah. no pull back, right? <laughs> and now, you, now you're going to draw down, and it's having a hard time holding price. Yeah, yeah. I agree. you got to love markets, folks. There's no doubt about it. Definitely. Let's check back in on oil real quick and see where we're trading. Oh, little little acceleration pop. as we speak, above $62. So the contracts we were looking at had exposure of 61.50, the noons. So about 50 pennies above there is going to cost us $40 for both sides. So one way of saying that, right, is it's above the expected move, right? right. The expected move by noon was pricing in at $40 because that's what both sides were going to cost you. We're now at 50 cents. Uh, excuse me, 40 cents, 50 cents. Um, so you, you can make that decision whether you want to. And there's your bullish trade, um, which would have about 46 pennies with a little bit offer right around it. Little, maybe maybe higher prices. It, yeah, it's uh, finally look, got a draw. Let, let's take a look. Uh, so I know this is delayed, but let's see what it's looking like. Yeah, and it is delayed, but looks like we yeah, already can, got the spike. Got a little, there's, there's the pop. 61.75. This is a yeah. long way to go. Well, no, that's right. We're up to 62 now. We're up that's to 62. 62. Yep. So the high of Monday was 62.92. Yeah, so we'll yeah. let's see the XLE with that's doing any juice in that. Up 18 cents. Nothing much there. So that means that Exxon is still not moving out here. Yeah, there you go. Chevron. It's going to be interesting to see how this battle shapes up. Uh, now, Chevron looks like it wants to come off this low here. This is interesting. So, you got this building cause here. You got a lot of moving pieces in that market, man.